cider savion. And it's a very simple recipe. We're going to start with butter, unsalted butter, and muscovado sugar, which is uh, sugar that's minimally processed. So all the um, molasses that's processed out of normal sugar is still in there. It's, it's got texture a lot like light brown sugar, but mix that together. And I've got it thoroughly combined. I'm going to add the eggs. And now I'll go in there. And mix until that's thoroughly combined again. So in goes a cup and a half of pumpkin. And then three tablespoons of lemon juice. Now I'll mix in the two and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour. Half teaspoon of cinnamon and half teaspoon of allspice. Two and a half teaspoons of baking powder and a half teaspoon of table salt. Important not to use kosher salt in this recipe because the chunks won't distribute evenly. And then I have fresh ginger and I'm going to put in a tablespoon of freshly chopped ginger. Give that a little stir and pour in the liquid ingredients. Mix that together. Well, it's completely smooth. Butter these very well. Scoop the batter into that. Then we'll add some water. Spoon this. I want to spoon it about halfway full so that it doesn't rise up too much. All that baking powder is going to make it rise quite a bit. Now pour in water, hot water preferably, to about an inch up the sides of the ramekins. Cover this in foil and put it in the oven. To unmold it, I'm going to give it a little help to come out. Move my knife around the edge and give it a little shake. There it is. I'm going to serve it with some, have some cider savion. Steamed pumpkin pudding, the sauteed pears, and cider savion.